All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna work on the pool and the off-grid water system today. Had a lot of rain, and my IBC tote, which is down here, is now full. So 275 gallons there, and we're gonna dump that into our pool over here. Not much to look at right now, pretty green. Gotta get the water level up high enough so we can get the pump hooked up and start uh, filtering this water, adding chemicals, and getting it ready for summer. My goal here is to have this pool up and running, ready to go by May 15th. All right, you can see the water is just up to the skimmer basket. Let's see what 275 gallons of water can do here for racing up the overall water in the pool. All right, folks, let's go over the setup here. Have my 12 volt solar panel. That's gonna power the bilge pump, which is inside this IBC tote. That's full, 275 gallons. I have my helper here. He's gonna plug in the solar panel to the bilge pump. I hear it running. Good job. Now I'm using the parts from the solar pool heater, the DIY pool heater I did last year. I'm just using the bilge pump and the tube. And I'm just using it sort of in reverse to move water from one area to the next. All right guys, one more aerial view here of the setup for pumping water from the DIY off-grid water system into the pool. Every little bit of water helps here. Now all was going well, but I did run into a big issue as you'll see in the next shot here with a major water leak. Earlier in the winter, I discovered a major crack that developed on the skimmer basket. I ended up replacing this part. When installing the new part, I didn't have a good seal in the gasket. I was trying to hold the skimmer and screw it at the same time. And this is why I have that major leak. So I went ahead, my wife and I reinstalled this basket, got a good seal, and I was good to go. Unfortunately, I had to drain the water down, the new water I had just put into the pool, in order to work on the new skimmer part. So the following day here, you can see I raised the water table up just a little bit. I probably put in about 150 gallons of water. Again, I've lost about 100 to 125 gallons. Uh, not too concerned because rain is in the forecast and we're gonna be able to put a lot more water into this pool and have it ready to go. All right guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question here, and please have a wonderful day.